Hey everyone, welcome to JLake 3D. So one of the users in our group had a question about how to make this kind of shape. And I just want to get right into it and show you guys a quick process and how planning ahead can really help. So we start out with a circle, we add another circle, and add a third circle. And make sure that you click away from there before adding the line because it's gonna drag it with you if you don't. So just go ahead and click away, add the line. Then we're gonna use the pattern tool to get our spacing correct. And we just simply go to the circular pattern and rotate it 360 degrees. And we can add however many lines we want to make sure that we have that separation. And this is going to be like with tabs. And so in this case, what we want to do is plan ahead, right? We don't want to do a whole bunch of steps in the future. So we're going to just extrude one out and edit that slightly in a way so that we can repeat the process just like we did with the lines. So what we're going to do here also is extend it up a little bit. For example, if we wanted our disc to be 10 millimeters, we make it up by two approximately and down by two. And then we go ahead and fill it these right away so that we can, as we rotate that with a pattern, it's already gonna be filleted so we don't have to click a bunch of things later on. So again, planning the head really helps. And then unlike an extruded pattern or a 3D shape, for sketches, we actually have to manually press those. We can't just press those in the menu because it'll select all the shapes. And we actually still need the rest of the sketches. So that's why it wouldn't work in this situation. But let's go ahead and extrude that disc and then we're gonna have a 10 millimeter, like I said, and we're gonna then unhide the previous part and we need to basically duplicate that around the center. So we go ahead and use the pattern tool again, find the center pivot point and then duplicate that however many times you want. So in this case, let's say um, you know, five or eight, however many, just rotate it 360 degrees so you can have that complete circle, right? And uh, so now what we do is simply subtract and we can go into the menu, unlike the sketch, and select all of our patterns, and then click done. And sometimes you can delete the parts you don't need, but I like to keep them just for later reference. And basically, this is it. You have it. And I'm not going to show you how to fill it and chamfer. You guys know how to do that. Hope it helped you guys. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.